So when you trade these Rinko sizes on the SIM scalper, you want to use these shorter Rinko sizes right after the news event. So this is the S&P here this morning. So news came out at 8.30. So this is our standard Rinko size that we went over with members. So 8.30 was a news event right there, 8.30. So we want to wait at least till 8.33. Right there, wait there to turn on the smaller Rinko sizes. And what you want to do is you want to look for these liquidity grabs with the zone break. Now you can do it two ways. You can do the automated, which the automated is running right now. That is here. You can run the automated system. So the automated is short at uh, 55, 57 and a quarter. As low as what 52 and three quarters right now, or you can use it as an indicator. If you use it as an indicator, what you want to do is you want to look for the liquidity grab. Now we did this yesterday before they marked the market up yesterday pretty hard. What you want to see is you want to see this pullback in price. So this will turn green at the time. So this happened at 8:51 this morning. You want to see this pullback in price. This will be ticking green at the time. So what you want to see is you want to see it go against the overall trend of the market. The trend was down. We're red candles. You want to see it go against it. It'll be ticking green at the time. And then once it closes back red, that candle right there just indicated that there's a liquidity grab that just took place. So once that liquidity grab takes place, you'll want to see the candle, the next candle, be a zone break. Because a zone break, you're preying on the counter trend traders getting caught. So we'll want to see a zone break that occurs. Right after the liquidity grab, which is here. So the entry on the S&P is 57 and a half, and it's got as low as 53 so far with news. If we go to the NASDAQ futures, same thing. You'll want to wait. Here's 833. I say 33 minutes after news is suffice. This is three minutes after the news on the NASDAQ futures. This is my shorter Rinko size I use on the NASDAQ futures. Now, the longer Rinko sizes, we can do a replay. So what I want to do this afternoon, I want to replay this for you. At noon today, for you members, I'm going to take the charts down for a second. Since the contract rollover started last week, we'll play Monday on replay all the way through until today's trading. I'm going to show you the different Rinko sizes to use on a longer Rinko size. And then we'll go to the shorter Rinko sizes also. So at noon today, at 12 o'clock today, if you want to sign back in, we're going to do a replay on these smaller Rinko sizes and these larger Rinko sizes. I'm going to show you how that works. Okay, but Notice on the NASDAQ futures, same type of setup. The setup was a deep liquidity grab. So at 8.33, we had a trend change at 8.36. So at 8.36, it told us there was a deep liquidity grab in here. This is all green at the time, and it closed back red. And then you had a yellow, week, a, a yellow zone break that happened at 8.40 this morning. The automated trading got you short at 20,125.50. Got as low as 20,060.50. Now this I have a runner running, okay? A runner running a thousand ticks out. 
So you won't close out until this ATR is closed out of. So you can close out of this ATR. Now you can adjust your ATR reading, which I'm going to start going over this next week. I'll go over this with you guys on how you can adjust your ATR to smaller Renko sizes and get this adjusted even closer to price. But that's how you want to trade news. You want to let it come out first. Let the news post. Let it trade for at least three minutes. And then you can turn these uh, shorter Renko sizes on. After the liquidity grab. And it's universal in all markets like this. So there is your S&P. And then here's your NASDAQ futures. Liquidity grab, you can use this as an indicator or strategy. Now, like I said, at noon today, for you members, I'm going to uh, take the charts down for uh, a second, like two, three minutes, put them back up. So around 12 o'clock, I'm going to take it down around 11.50 this morning. 12 o'clock, we'll replay the entire week last week. And this week, I'm going to show you the accuracy of the longer Rinko sizes when you're trading this, this scalper. But then you can use the shorter Rinko sizes also minutes after the news. Okay? So this, you want to wait on, on trading the shorter Rinko sizes. Just wait till the news breaks. This is today's news. Wait for three minutes, and then um, I'll go over all the settings with you members here in one second on these again so you understand what it is. But typically with news, it likes, it likes, to, uh, it likes to gyrate for about three minutes or so, three to five minutes, and you turn it on. I like three minutes and then turn it on, but you can wait five minutes if you want. It's up to you. You can see right here, right now, on the NASDAQ, they're grabbing liquidity. So what you want to see, this is a red bar the whole time, red Rinko, and then close right back green. Close right back green. They're trying to mark the market up. We saw this yesterday, right, Sal and Aaron? We saw all the markets do the same thing yesterday. They had a deep liquidity grab at 350 at the close. And I, I typed in the room, they're trying to run this market. And they did. They ran it. We saw deep liquidity grabs on the whole basket, the basket being the YM, the basket being the RTY, the basket being the S&P. So they tried to run this on, the S on all these markets yesterday. That's the basket you can put beside each other. You can see when these zone breaks and liquidity grabs happen. You just want to see it right afterwards. What you want to see with this, guys, is you want to see a deep liquidity grab and the zone break right afterwards. Now, the automation will pick this up for you if you want, but you don't have to use a strategy if you don't want. You can use it as an indicator. That was your liquidity grab. And that was your big short this morning, and it caught the big short on the NASDAQ futures this morning. This is the Renko size we went over for all you traders uh, earlier this week on the NASDAQ futures and last week. It works really, really good with news breaks, non-farm payrolls, retail sales, GDP, PPI, CPI, Fed Minutes, Fed News. These smaller Renkos work really, really, really well after news breaks. Okay, we only had one on the S&P here this morning. S&P had one set up this morning as far as this goes. This is what we saw last night at the close. All markets were doing deep liquidity grabs, and they turned back green, and they ran it. This is what we talked about. It said it looks like they're running the markets. They all had deep liquidity grabs at the same time, and they, they just pegged it to the upside. That's what you want to see. When you look at these di different markets, you can, you can put them on the same Renko size. All these are universal on the smaller Renko size I like to use after news. 
except for the NASDAQ. I double the size on the NASDAQ because it's volatile. The idea behind it is this, is that after the news break, they're going to try to counter trend trade. They're going to try to counter trend trade after the trend change, after news. They're going to try to wipe out all the counter trend traders here and here. This is where they're trying to wipe out the counter trend traders. They're trying to wipe them out to grab liquidity to bring it lower. So what you want to do at the news event, let it wait three minutes. I like having the basket right beside each other. So what you can do is you can put these beside each other and, and look when they're grabbing together. And they, they pretty much, when, these, when this basket runs together, they tend to grab liquidity to get together as a basket. So you can put them beside each other and see when they're grabbing liquidity right away. You can see after the news, they all started grabbing liquidity pretty much the same time. The NASDAQ, the S&P, the Dow, and the RTY. They grabbed it. And if you want to see a critical part in the market where this market's going to try to break, they're trying to grab liquidity right now in the S&P right now, aren't they? Look what they're trying to do. They're trying to take the counter trend traders out. Again, the strategy is still on this one is still running. Because the strategy, according to this one, is not going to pull out until I close outside of my liquidity grab. I mean, where the, uh, the ATR that's running. So that's how you can trade right after news events. You can trade news events by turning these smaller Renko sizes on. Now, do I want to run these Renko sizes 24 hours a day? No, they're too small, right? We want to get vertical moves with liquidity grabs. However, I got some really optimized settings for you guys, and I'll show you since the contract rollover. We already did a replay in the conference call on the training conference calls. We did a replay of the last month and a half. I'll show you since a contract rollover on the S&P, and we'll run that at noon today for you members. I'm going to show you the accuracy. I'm going to show you the different Rico size you want to use. I'm going to show you the tick, the tick and the, the trend reversal that you want to use on these markets. All right. Are we on the same page, guys? Uh, members, give me a why if you understand that. You want to use these smaller Rico sizes after news events, but we don't want to turn them on before the news event. Let the news event post. Wait three minutes. Are we all on the same page? Wait at least three minutes and then turn them on. They're all the same Renko size, except for the NASDAQ, which I'll show you in a second after I get off this mic. I double the one on the, S on the, on the NASDAQ to slow it down, and we'll go over that, you members. And always, if, if you need any settings for these markets, just email me. Here, if you need the shorter and longer term settings, just email me here and I'll be glad to send them over to you. For you members, I just don't like posting them in these videos because this goes out on our website for training. But a few members, um, we use the same exact Renko size after news for this basket. I call this the basket. NASDAQ, S&P, Dow. RTY, that's a basket. I don't include oil in the basket because oil, oil is its own animal. But you can put oil in there also if you'd like or gold beside each other. If you wanted to do that, you can add that. But it's the same thing with crude oil. You're going to look for the same type of setup on these smaller Renko sizes. You want to see a liquidity grab. You want to see that you want to see the market grabbing liquidity and then pulling in. So if I'm trading, if I'm trading, uh, if I'm trading uh, crude today, if I'm trading crude right after the pit open here, I want to see this deep liquidity grab and then it closed right back red or right back green. You want to do the same thing. 
I use the same type of Renko size on crude oil also. All right. So what are they doing on the S&P right now? They're trying to grab liquidity. They're trying to keep this thing running lower to the downside. All right. So to reiterate, how to trade news. We wait with the SIM scalper. SIM scalper can be traded with news. This is the news break at 8.30. This is a no trade zone. Vertical, vertical, where are you at? This is a no trade zone, 8.30 to 8.33. Some of you want to go 8.32, that's fine. Usually after three minutes, it settles down. That's a no trade zone. You can turn the SIM scalper on if you want to use automation with news events with the smaller Renko sizes. This is a no trade zone after news. You can turn the SIM scalper on to start stalking trades. What it'll do is start stalking trades. This is the one that nailed on the NASDAQ futures this morning. This is the true. We're in a trade zone right now, right? S&P. Dow, same way. The Dow, what they do? After news, here's a new trade zone up to 833. Vertical line. Where's your vertical line? 833. Right there. Turn it on. You can see they grab liquidity right before the zone break. Dow the same way. S&P, same thing. They're grabbing liquidity. Look what they just did. They grab liquidity. Now they're bringing, they continue to bring it lower. This is how they do it. It's called a rinse and repeat in the market. Rinse and repeat. They rinse out the counter trend traders and they continue the move. This works really good on the longer Rico sizes. I will show you that at noon today for you members. We'll go over it. I'll show you replay. It works excellent on the longer Rico sizes. And you don't need large stops on the large Rico sizes. I'll show you at the 15 tick stop since a contract rollover since last Monday on the S&P. I'll show you a 15 tick stop versus a 20 versus a 30, what the difference is. And it held into these markets. When this market likes to go vertical, the larger Rinkos on the scalper work very, very well. We'll go over that stuff. But as you can tell right now, if you wanted to trade these markets, you could trade the basket like this. You could trade the basket after news. And you could say, okay, I can either do two things. I can use it as automation or I can use it as an indicator. If I use it as automation, you want to turn it on after news events on these smaller Renko sizes that I provide. Or if you want to tweak your own, tweak your own. If you want to use it as an indicator, it's very simple. You want to see a liquidity grab and then my zone break come right afterwards. Liquidity grab. It goes opposite. So if it's red, you want to see this bar tick, 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 green, 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 green. Right back, close red with the yellow zone break next bar. That's your high probability entry. You can have them. You can have all these markets right beside each other, and you can trade it as an indicator. Also, you don't need to trade this as a strategy if you don't want. If you do want to trade this strategy, you can put your targets, pre, your target, your, your targets in your stops on these smaller Rinkos. And it's been a productive morning this morning on all these markets with news events. And news has been almost posted for an hour now. Your news trading is complete okay